Hey everybody, welcome to Liz Aff Love Terry. Uh, today's topic is just a collective read, okay? This is what's coming towards my collective, okay? So take it how it resonates. If it's your story, take it. If it's not, leave it. You can always check out my playlist. I have additional collective reads there. If you want to book a personal reader with me, it'll all be down below in the description box, including how to, you know, buy my Oracle decks, visit my Patreon, any and everything that got to do with the channel. I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes, all of the support to this channel. It really means a lot to me. All of the tips and donations as well is greatly appreciated, okay? So, Holy Spirit, I want to know who or what is coming towards my collective. Okay, you have someone that doesn't want to be seen. Okay, collective? So they being low-key as fuck, but they're in your energy. This is the type of person that comes around. They want to gaslight you when they come around. Okay, let me get one more. Who or what? Yeah, this is someone who avoids you. Okay, or vice versa. Shit, you could be avoiding this person. But nonetheless, they're in your energy. This person want to come forward and... uh gaslight you like this may be somebody who don't never had time for you collective see a shady female let me part the deck burnout and a narcissist so collective you could have a shady female narcissist in your energy okay and every time they come around your energy they try to boost you up gas you up or whatever Maybe because they want the, like, the attention off of them. Because they want to, let me see. Hmm. This person always saying, like, they are trying to better themselves. They always, like, saying stuff. But I think it's just to be in competition with you, collective. Or to feel like they have something to offer towards you. Let's see. Let's put some tarot on it and see what's going on. Yeah, see, they want to complete some type of cycle here. It's like they're doing something behind closed doors, you know? They're working with someone behind closed doors. Shit, this person could be like leeching off of you some type of way, collective. So be mindful. It's like they're trying to complete a cycle of getting something, reaping the benefits of something, but yet they don't want to be seen. Seem like a user, you know? Look, they want to have, they want to make sure they got all their options, okay? Yeah. So, while you out here getting it, collective, you in this masculine energy, okay? This is someone that's in a feminine energy. They want to attract things to them that they want. They don't want to get up and do shit. And I'm not saying because you're in a feminine energy, that's what you got to always embody. But this person, hell yeah, that's what they embodying. And while you out here getting to the money, while you out here building that stability that you have to go out and do with hard work, they want to take it. They want to reap the benefits of that behind the scenes. Let me get some tarot on this gaslighting. Yeah, this person, um, let me get the cards that fill. Yeah, something's going to come out about this person that shit. They don't really have no drive themselves to build anything for themselves. They just want to leech off what the fuck you doing, see? Because they see that you're in high honor, you're looking good, you're smelling good, you're wreaking the benefits of abundance for your hard work and your labor, and they want to be attached to you. This could be a same-sex couple. This could be uh, two different sexes. Take it how it resonates. But this is someone in a feminine energy that wants to attract abundance to them without doing the fucking hard work. And they want to piggyback off your shit. Okay? See, holding on tight, holding on for dear fucking life, right? They don't want to, this is the type of person that always, like, they may guilt trip you, collective. Like, oh, girl, you don't want to hang today? Oh, okay. You know, if it's like your friend or something. Because if it's your friend, it could be like, girl, you know, we we been in the thick of it. Like we got it out the mud together or something like that when they like, we in this together type of thing, okay? But lo and behold, this is a person who wants to benefit from your hard work collective. And if this, look, it's taking a long time, okay, for you to start avoiding this person. That's what I see, you know? 
It's like, if the energy just been off with this person, to you, collective, okay? Take heed to that. Because it's like, this person wants you to be an indecision. And I mean, you could be going back and forth because you're like, well, this my friend. I don't really know if I should do this, you know? But some information is going to come to you that's going to make your ass walk away. See? So, Queen of Pentacles, now here you are, attracting abundance, you know, towards yourself. But you also attracting the truth, okay? And the truth is, is what are you doing to the person? You know what I'm saying? The person that's in your energy. You want to ask them, like, what are you doing that's building to my success? What are you doing that's adding to this 10 cups here? Because I just see somebody that just sits around and gaslights you, collective. They tell you what you want to hear, try to gas you up so they can benefit from whatever the hell you got going on. Now stop and ask yourself to a minute, for a minute. What could this person be trying to get out of you? What could they be trying to do? What can they benefit from you? I'm going to go ahead and pull some oracle cards because I want to know too shit. This person wants triumph over you. They want to have patience during a time of change because four plus one is five. That's a number of change, okay? And this person wants to have, be triumphant. As, look, if you starting to cut off people because you feel like, you know, people starting to leech off you, people want things from you collective, this person feeling like they could withstand the test of time because they just going to gaslight you and they think that that's enough. What do they want? What, what What's going on with this person that's in my collective's energy? Sacro chakra. This is that energy like I'm trying to manifest something, you know? This is that powerful gut feeling. Well, shit, you probably was feeling something deep down in your gut. A collective. If you've been looking over your intuition, stop doing that, okay? Because I feel like it's a gut feeling, and it's just like, okay, if you want to fall into this temptation of letting this person be in your energy again, go ahead and do it. What's at the bottom deck? Accelerated motion and wisdom is underneath there. See? Wisdom through a time of change and number five, and then accelerated motion. It's like, as this person tries to push things forward or as you start to push things forward, you starting to realize like, shit. Something ain't right. I'm getting a gut feeling off something. And this person's gut feeling is like, they're picking up on it too, but they're going to push you further into temptation. They're going to push you further into something. This is that physicalness. So this is the type of person who, like, who may be like, when you got to work or something, or you're thinking about on your off day, or you have free time, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to probably do something meaningful. This is the type of mug that come in your energy like, let's get fucked up today. Let's get drunk. Let's do this. Let's do that. Knowing that you're trying to do other things that can help build you up, they want to come and take. Because maybe you're the type of person, you got it like that. When you go out, maybe you're looking out for everybody. Maybe you buy drinks for y'all little crew that come in. Maybe you breaking bed, bread. Maybe you smoking your weed with them. I know some of y'all smoke. Okay, I ain't judging. That's why you here. We talking. So, this is the type of person that wants to monopolize. Okay, they want to push you. You know what I'm saying? They want to push you to a point where they can benefit from it. Okay, what's your energy? Let's clarify your energy collective. Your energy is victory and success because shit, you winning. In a physical world, you getting that bag. That's what I see. Number six is, is like the physical. But it's victory and success. I feel like you're doing good. I feel like your hard work is paying off for you, collective. Uh, but solar plexus. You feel drained. That's what I see. You're having a lot of victory and success. But you can't sit the fuck down. Because every time you get a free moment, here come this person. Gaslighting you, exciting you up. You can't rest, you can't chill. You've been feeling burnout. 
it's not really from the success that you're getting. It's from the people that are around you that want to benefit from your success, collective. That's what I see. And you in your head over it. Past, present, and future, remember. See, material harvest, you doing the damn thing. It's that nine of pentacles energy to me. Single, abundant. You ain't out here begging people to do shit for you. You out there making it happen for yourself, collective. And I like that. Recognition and reward, okay? You've been, if you haven't right now, you will. You're going to receive some type of recognition, some type of reward, some type of pay raise, some type of recognition that places you in a position of power of some sort. Lastly, we have choose wisely. Choose wisely who you want to have in your energy collective and protect yourself, okay? If you need time, because you in your head, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to weed out, space yourself. Give yourself some space away from these people until you can see clearly, until you can follow that gut feeling within yourself, until you can recharge. Because I feel like you got people in your energy, especially a feminine energy, male or female. It does say shady female, but this is like a feminine energy that I'm getting. This is like someone who doesn't want to work. They don't want to work hard. So they just want to piggyback off you, okay? This is somebody who's in this energy of just attracting so that they can get what it is they want. They're not in that action-oriented mode, okay? And if they are, they damn sure ain't getting the results you getting. So just be mindful of who is in your energy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if you're feeling burnt out, no, that is not solely from your success. People can come around you and drain your energy. That's what you need to be mindful of. Okay? So if you feel like you need to ground yourself because some of you all may. Okay? I'm just going to hit that for you. My Tibetan sound bowl. You may benefit from that. They got them, you know, online. You can order. Um, But I want to say, like... Space yourself out, okay? Away from people. Get, get like, boundaries. Healthy boundaries, okay? Don't be jumping when people say jump, even though you may want to do those activities. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you need time to recharge. That's what I'm trying to tell you, collective. Have space for that. And when you recharge, you can think clearly about the next steps that you want to take, about how you feel like, you know, if people are around you and they're draining your energy. And shit, what you need to do to change that. So... I'm just a messenger. If you like this message, smash that like button, okay? If you want to see more reads like this one, smash the like button. You know I thank y'all so much for the love and support, tips and donations to this channel. And today in peace and love.